Hello ladies and gentlemen, friendos and friendettes across the internet scape, this is of course your friendly neighborhood Omega, and today I'm bringing you World of Warcraft content. Yes, isn't that weird? Well, I decided that World of Warcraft has some rather beautiful music and some rather beautiful landscapes, Mogor being one of them, and today I'm going to begin what is going to be an on-running series where I take you across the world of Azeroth, that is the world of WoW, and expose to you the beautiful music a beautiful landscape, and maybe some of the not-so-beautiful textures that await you in the world of Warcraft. You could see this as something of a beginner's guide, something to take you through and give you an idea of what you can expect from the world that you'll be entering. Not necessarily the people, not necessarily the enemies, not necessarily the dungeons, but the world itself, what you can experience when it comes to immersion. So, I'm going to take a small fly-through of the entire area. If I come to a point of interest that may seem notable, I'll bring up something about it, but if not, I'm just going to let the music run. So let's get started, shall we? As you'll see here, we're coming across Thunder Bluff. This is the main city for the Tauren, one of the races of the Horde. It is placed on a massive mesa in the middle of Mulgore, the plains that the Tauren inhabit. There's not much to it, it's quaint, but it's highly reflective of the Tauren. And it is unlike virtually any other city in the game, though there are a few similar to it, but none placed up on high mesas like this and nothing as large. It's marked by these large inn-like structures, which house a variety of different NPCs and practical applications, and then this large totem in the center, which serves as a hub for the taxi service. Very interesting. So as we're coming up now, this is the first intro town that you will run into as a Tauren. This will be the location where you pick up new quests that will lead you around the zone, talk to your trainers, get a few in, get to the inn, rather, pick up your Hearthstone location, sell some stuff, and start getting acquainted to the game as a Tauren.
Before the Cataclysm, this area was a passageway into the Torrent Starting Zone, now demolished by the Quillbore. This area still, however, is the beginning for the Torrin players, and if we run into a few, you can basically see which will be starting out as a, as a Torrin. This area was ravaged and has a rather dark backstory, but it is still very compelling if you play through it. I'd recommend giving it a play at least once, just to see it. This area used to be exclusively for Torrin Druids and Shamans as part of a quest chain, but has now been turned into an area available to pretty much everyone, I believe. It's been a while. Very tribal. It's reflective of the sort of Native American feel that the Torrin have going on. Very nice. Very pretty. You'll notice the very massive tone shift. This area was taken over by the Quillbore during the events of the Cataclysm. Many of the Torrin here were killed and driven out, and this area is, well, it's dark for a reason. While they don't look like much, the Quillbore have been a massive threat to the Torrin, and there's an interesting little bit of lore surrounding the ongoing conflict between these two. Again, very dark, but you'll be exposed to it in the Torrin starting zone. That's why the music has changed the way it has. Over here we have the Great Gate, which was built after the events occurring in the Southern Baron, and the two barons, originally one, were split apart during the Cataclysm. The wall was originally built as a method to keep on the encroaching alliance, and it still stands today despite its being wooden and the alliance using flame-tipped trebuchet bullet things. Those would be bolts, I guess. <laughs> it's an impressive work of architecture, though. Not really anything else like it in the entirety of Azeroth. Again, very reflective of the Torrin nature. The Venture Company of Wild Lore is a company run by goblins and defended by ogres that traditionally mines, excavates, drills, and basically plunders the resources of everything and everyone that they can find. They've taken up a foothold here in Mulgor, and this music that you're hearing right now is fairly indicative of goblins and gnomes alike.
That about covers it for our tour of Mogor. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, favorite this video, share it around, subscribe to the channel. There will, of course, be more of this series as we cover all of Azeroth. Again, I have been Omega, and I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was relaxing. And I hope maybe you learned a little bit about WoW lore. Maybe a little bit about the WoW universe. Maybe got a little bit immersed into it. And, you know, maybe these videos will convince you to play. Or maybe they won't. Either way, have a good day.